So which lens should you use for bird photography? The honest answer, I have no idea. But what I can do for you is I can break down the different kinds of lenses available so that you can decide which lens is the right lens for you at this point in time. Lenses such as the 55 to 200 millimeters or the 55 to 50, 70, 300, they are most often not sufficient. Whereas if we have a lens such as the 100 to 400 or the 200 to 500 by Nikon or the uh, 150 to 600 by Tamron Sigma, chances of being able to get photographs more consistently and fill that frame more consistently improve. These lenses are also hand holdable. So basically in the beginning when you're getting, when you're just gearing up for bird photography, it's all about the reconnaissance, going into various national parks, various habitats, learning about birds and their behavior and what are the birds that give you better sightings at a certain time of the year or at a certain place. And when you're doing that kind of a reconnaissance, it's always advisable to have a hand holdable lens rather than cart one of those huge prime lenses with a big tripod and those big gimbal heads. But at some stage in your life, you will want to experiment with those big prime lenses because not only do they produce outstanding image quality, but they open at wider apertures. So as a result, you're going to get that out of focus area even more out of focus so that you can isolate your subject really and get sharp, supremely sharp photos. And the lenses that I mentioned earlier, the Canon 100 to 400 Mark II, Nikon's uh, 200 to 500 and the Tamron lenses, Sigma lenses, these lenses are good enough for you to click photos that will win you photo, photo competitions. Occasionally I'll go out with the 300 millimeter f4 lens. In fact, quite often I do go out with the 300 f4. It's a very light prime lens that's supremely sharp, available in Canon and Nikon. And uh, when I photograph at apertures such as f4.5 or f5, that background really goes completely out of focus. And the lens is much smaller and lighter so that if I have to crawl closer to a bird or, you know, somehow, you somehow have to access a difficult vantage point, that smaller, lighter lens makes a lot of sense as long as I can get much closer to the bird. I'm Girish Menon and I teach photography workshops online. These are not pre-recorded videos that you sit and watch by yourself. I'll actually be present on a live video call. No matter which camera you have and no matter where you're based in the world, you can still learn photography from me. How cool is that? Please check out my website www.girishmenin.com to have a look at the workshops that I teach. I look forward to seeing you soon.